Tip number 66. Include voltage value in power net name. This is what I mean. Here, 3.3 volt, 4.2 volt, 1.2 volt. See? Even in uh, longer names, like here, you can always see what is the voltage value of the power rail. 3.3, 2.5, 1.2. It's not difficult to do and it's very useful. How this can be useful? What do you think? For example, when uh, you are uh, debugging your board and uh, you need to measure some power rails and compare the voltage with the schematic if, if the voltage is correct. So, you know, you just take DVM, you measure your board and you immediately see there should be 2.5 volts or there should be 1.2. It, it looks or it may look like, oh, yeah, it's clear. <laughs> it's not clear. I worked with some schematics and they called the power, la power rails like ETH, DVD, DH. And when I measured the voltage on the board, I had to browse through the schematic and try to figure out what the voltage actually should be. And many times I had to go through data sheet to see what the voltage should be because they never told. Yeah, even in the regulator, they would call it ETH, DVD, DH. I had no idea what is it. There are other situations when it can be useful. For example, when you are checking uh, your schematic and you go through the power pins of uh, components, in the data sheet, it says these AVDDL pins, they should be connected to 1.2 volt. So you just go to your schematic and you clearly see, yeah, it's connected correctly. Again, if you see this ETH AVDDL, you would need to follow this uh, power rail to the regulator and check what is the output voltage of the regulator to be sure that these pins are connected correctly. If you put the voltage here, you immediately see it. And uh, probably the most important situation is uh, if in your board you have uh, interfaces running on different voltages. Like you have some interfaces running on 1.8 volt, then you have uh, other interfaces running on 3.3 volt or some pins or interfaces running on 5 volts. And you really don't want to mix these signals together. You really don't want to connect 1.8 volt interface with 3.3 volt interface. That's again when this uh, is very handy. So if you have, for example, buffer, you clearly see on this side of the buffer there is 1.8 volt, on this one there is 3.3 volt. If you use ETH, AVD, DH, you don't know what is the voltage. Here on this one, I know. Uh, for example, these uh, signals which are here, they are 2.5 volt signals. So I know these uh, pull-ups, I need to connect them 2.5 volts. Again, very clear. It's very easy to connect these pull-ups to 3.3 volts. You would be surprised. I think you understand. Yeah. It's not essential, but it's very helpful. There are some cases when uh, you cannot use the fixed value because, for example, like here, yeah, this voltage here, it can be different. It can be 4.2 volts or 3.3 volts. So then you can use uh, power net uh, with, uh, without this voltage value. It's fine. Just be sure it's clear from the schematic. It's immediately clear what is the voltage here, yeah, or uh, if, if it doesn't look like this, put there a node here, see, this plus V input, and here is the node, plus V input is from 4.9 to 5.2 volts, yeah? Don't put there VCC. I've seen so many schematics which says VCC. <laughs> I've seen so many boards where VCC was 5 volts. I've seen so many boards where VCC was 3.3 volts. 
So if someone put VCC on power rail, it's like, it's nightmare, yeah? No one knows what it means. Put there the exact value of the voltage. 5 volt VCC. Yeah, that's correct. That's fine. Tip number 66. Include voltage value in power net name. Why? You need to be sure that you are connecting signals with the same voltage levels. It also helps during debugging and schematic checking. <laughs>